Oh, look at that nice soft truffly bit in the middle. There's literally oh, no... Oh, look at that. wow. You can't even break it, it just splats. Ten. ten from me. We used to do our hands out. Ten. ten. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back for part three of what? Irish candy. I didn't expect you to no, say No, no. Oh, 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 I really God. just did a good note. Yeah, oh, she got a wife of cheese she did. <laughs> this is all thanks to the wonderful Laura. Laura. We have gone from having no Irish videos to three. And part three is chocolate, chocolate sweets. Oh, and oh, I'm, so I'm so excited. excited. <laughs> Are you ready for the sugar high? Yeah, no, and the sugar low. low. Anyway, if you're new to our channel, we love trying lots of different food from around the world and we are super excited. Let's crack straight in. Now in video- Ah, that reminds me of an Irish saying. What? What's the crack? Oh yeah, what's the crack? What's the crack? Oh no, I'm not going. <laughs> anyway, from part two, we got to try Barry's tea. Yeah. And we've done it again. We both got a cuppa of Barry. Yeah. Barry's always with us. I'm thinking as uh, we haven't tried anything mm. yet, I think we should try dairy milk because yeah. we read last time that Laura said, some people say that Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate made in Ireland tastes different from that produced in the UK. So we've got a bar here and I love these um, sizes. Yeah, I think it's a really cool size. Yeah. Ours are normally like thinner than this. It's just like a one strip there. Is, this is like a two strip. Also, this is 53 grams, whereas ours are around 40. That's what the pricing is like on this. Yeah, and I wonder if they say this is kind of two servings then. Cadbury's even produced some bars that were unique at the time to the Irish market, including Cadbury's Mint Crisp and Golden Crisp. Every year, 10 million litres of fresh Irish milk travels from Rathmore to the factory in Dublin and is used to create 19 million delicious Cadbury Dairy Milk Ooh, bars. 19 million? That's oh, this is exciting. Honeycomb granules. Yeah, it looks oh. so good. Here yeah, go. each 26.5 grams contained. So I wonder if they think this should be like um, two servings. Well, yeah, it says easy oh, reclose pack. Half a bar and easy reclose. Yeah, because yeah, I'm not usually closing a bar once I've opened it. No. Do you know what? This is really good because we get bars of dairy milk that a lot larger, about 120 grams. Yeah. I tell you, these days it's so easy to eat a whole one of those. Mm. Whereas at least with this, it's half as yeah. much. <laughs> I wonder how many people actually would only eat half of this. Yeah. Is it just the companies are like being like, oh, we should really say that's only well, half. Yeah, probably. Because really, half is just four squares. Yeah. These squares are different to ours. Much Our flatter. bars have Square gone up. really round. Do you want to try one of those yeah. then? Tastes pretty similar, would you say? Mm, that is the closest to ours compared you know, to of Canada Australia. or Australia. Uh -huh. So yeah. That's delicious. And I really like them in that square, really square form. I factor. love this. Yeah, I kind of wish we sold them in these. Mm. Mm, that is so good and 10 out of 10. Yeah, kind of just as we expected. Mm -hmm. The mint one? Yeah. We don't get a mint Cadbury's here, do we? No. Oh, did you say mint crisp? Yeah. Mm, that's The nice. crisp looks like honeycomb. Does it say honeycomb? Oh. Does it say mint, mint honeycomb? Mint flavoured milk chocolate with honeycomb. Mm. Oh. The chocolate so the is mint flavoured. Oh, that is so good having that with so the honeycomb. Mm. That's that. such a delicious mint. That's really good. Mm. I am now such a mint fan. That is delicious with the creamy chocolate. Mm. And having those um, little bits in there. Yeah. I wonder, is this the same, but- Without the mint. Without the mint. I love it when mint has a crunch to it. Mm. Like When smooth, mint has a texture. Smooth mint is kind of nice, but I always think it's nice when it's got a little crunch in it. Or if it's like the cream. Mm. That's nice. All 10 out of 10. Mm. Although it's funny, it's not like crunchy pieces, is it? It's more like, like a slightly uh, got a bit of chew to it. You know the honeycomb from a crunchy? Mm. Like when you get the big bar that's got, it's called crunchy pieces, isn't yeah. it? Or bites or whatever. It's different to that. Oh. But it's good. We don't get that here, but we do sometimes get the crunchy bits. Yeah. So I suppose that's our equivalent, that's isn't it? That's what I just said. No, I know, but I mean, you didn't say that's what we got instead. What are you doing? I'm telepathically telling the audience what I'm thinking. Barry's done it again. Yeah. Delicious. Shall we try the same but a different brand? Yeah. Or did you want to change? What's this? Wilton, Wilton Candy Macaroon Do you want to read that? Oh, yeah. Macaroon and a Mint Crisp. And a Mint Crisp. It says, Wilton is an old school confectionery brand in Ireland. These bars remind me so much of my childhood and I like that they still have the old school look. Macaroon bars in particular were my favorite. I think when desiccated coconut came to Ireland first, we went a bit mad and started putting it in everything. everything. 
I wouldn't have liked to no, be an island then. I like that they've got the original branding. Hmm. This is since 1937. I think it holds up quite well though. Oh yeah. It has got a kind of it's old school vibe around. to it, but I like the fact that it's quite plain and I like these stripes on the side, yeah. Um, and no, it's not like Wilton who does no. the... Um... The 2D tips. Murder. Wilton tips. Okay, so... What's your favourite Wilton tip? Uh, it's a 2D. Oh, it's 2B, a 2D, wasn't it? 2B or not 2B tip. <laughs> I can't remember. It was one. Oh, 1M, 1M. So this is kind of in the mm. same format as Dairy Milk, but they're a lot thinner and smaller. That's actually really nice, the macaroon bar. See, I like that sort of desiccated coconut because it's covered in chocolate. And you haven't got the texture of it. Mm, that's really nice. And how's this mint crisp? It reminds me of something we've had before. I think it's nice when you have mint crisp chocolate that's quite thin, not too chunky. Mm. This here is much more like an after eight mint, mm. which is another brand of mint chocolate. Yeah. Because they're like mint crystals, that's a bit too strong for me. Really? I've turned into a mint chocolate fan, but I'm not quite there yet. It's got quite a bitter mint aftertaste. That's it's probably quite the bit strong. You don't like. But considering we've just had Capri's and mm. that straight away, I thought the chocolate was really yeah, nice. Yeah, chocolate's pretty good. It's not Capri's good, but it's no. good. Surprisingly, I'm going macaroon over the mint crisp, and I'm probably going to give that like an eight and the mint a seven. I'm the other way around. Mint is definitely the better for me, but I really enjoyed that macaroon. Mm. Should we go for one of these at the front? Yes, Maybe I these think so. um, Lear? Is yes. it called? Discover chocolate? Well, don't these sound nice? Almond and hazelnut truffles. Do you think this is going to be a bit like a... A Ferrero Rocher. Ferrero Rocher. Lear is a reference to the children of Lear. Lear, are we saying that right? Lear. A great Irish myth which tells the sorrowful tale of King Lear's four children, no way, who were turned into swans for 900 years by his jealous second wife, Aoife. Aoife? That can't be real, The can spell it? would only be broken when the children heard the ringing of a bell and arrival of St. Patrick in Ireland. These chocolate are like Ferrero Rocher. Is that a true story? No, I think it's a myth. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you mean. Speaking of ether, can yeah. I tell a story? On, so I used to be a dance teacher. Yeah. I got to a new school, it was Saturday morning, reading and I was about to take the register and Aoife is the first name on my mm. register. And if you've ever looked at Aoife before, it is spelt A-O-I-F-E. Mm. I read that and I was like, what on earth is that? I was like, is it Aofi or yeah. I, I had no clue. Mm. So I improvised. Yeah. I was like, right, as I'm new here, mm. what we're gonna do is you tell me your we're you gonna go names. around, yeah. you tell me your yeah. name yeah. and an interesting yeah. fact about yourself. Yeah. And I was like ticking off yeah. everyone else and we finally got to Eva and she was like, Eva, I was like, oh Eva. Yeah. And, I, and I literally on my my register yeah. I wrote E O F E yeah. or, or like the phonetical yeah. so I didn't forget it. Yeah. But that's the first time I'd come across the name really? Aoife, it's so nice, but like with a lot of other Irish names, they are not spelt how you would think it sounds, like yeah. Kiefer, mm. there's other ones. Yeah, Kiefer spelt like Aoife, isn't it? Yeah, K-O-C-O-A or something. Oh, but yeah. I was literally like, I have no clue yeah. what that name is. If you're ever struggling with someone's name and you're a teacher, just yeah. ask them to say yeah. their names. Yeah. You don't look stupid. <laughs> Ooh, they Ooh. literally do look like mini Ferrero Rochers. They look like nice homemade Ferrero Rochers. Thank you. Oh wow. Mm, not a little bit smaller than Ferrero Rocher. Mm, I think I prefer that. Covered in roasted hazelnuts. Having that whole hazelnut in a Ferrero Rocher, because I'm not the biggest hazelnut fan, kind of like a lot to take in. Mm. So because it's just like a creamy, yeah. that's nice and mild, more mild. Yeah, it's much, that's actually really smooth, isn't mm. it? Much smoother than a... What are you Russia. giving those? I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Yeah. It's good, but I think we tried better. Mm. Please, can we go for the Skellings? Yes, Skellings. Yes. Skellings. Wasn't there a book called Skellig? You read that in school? Skellig. I haven't done much reading in my time. No, oh, in school. No. Yeah, I never did a lot of reading in my life, but now I read a book every night before bed. Really, every yeah, night? every night. I Without don't... fail, I read before bed. I don't read much, but I'll tell you, last year I read one book mm. and it was actually one of our- be a good one. It was. <laughs> it was actually one of our lovely viewers, Tim Marie, who has oh, sent yeah, us a book. Said. She wrote a book. I'll leave a link down below. Mm. Um, if you could support and go buy a book, it's just on Amazon. Mm. And it, because it's just a, uh, an e-book, yeah. it's really not that expensive. Yeah. So you should check it out. It was amazing. I loved yeah. it. I couldn't put the book down. Give a quick synopsis. It's based in Boston. 
Boston, Boston around the time of the Boston Marathon bomb. Bombing. And it kind of follows a female yeah. character and a male yeah. character. And it starts from like the day where the yeah. Boston bomb happens. And then you follow her, you follow him and they kind of like oh, meet. Pretty cool. It was really good. I'll have to, you'll have to let there me There was a it. real big twist in there. Really? So yeah, read it, it's awesome. Go check it out. Well done, below. Tim Murray. Our factory is located in the rugged southwest coast of Ireland in County Kerry, overlooking the majestic Skellig Rocks. Come visit us, see the chocolates being made and indulge your senses in our chocolate paradise. Taste the freshly made delights and enjoy the panoramic views of our cafe. Can I just say one more thing that about the book? Lovely. Yes, please do. The fact that I read a whole entire book yeah. just shows I enjoyed it, good, it yeah. and it was a good book because yeah. I read the whole entire thing yeah. and it was excellent. So well done, Tim Marie. That was really, really good. Uh, you should definitely go check it out. I really hope these are good because I love orange chocolate, mm. like brittle. These say alcohol free. If these are good, mum's going to be in heaven. Would look you at those shards. Lot, do you reckon a lot of their other chocolate is Maybe. alcohol based then? Oh, look at these. A nice little handful of shards. Oh, do you know what you it reminds me of? It reminds me of like broken up um, oh. Easter egg pieces. That is 10 out of 10. Wow, that is so good. It really is like an Easter egg broken up. Do you know what I think? What? This might be better than Terry's chocolate orange. Mmm. Do you know what? It really could be. It's mm. really delicious. Mm. Lovely and milky and orange. And... So it's the chocolate, but it's also got like little mm. crystal. Oh. This is amazing. It's a shame we can't get little Debbie to come in. Oh, no. I don't know if we said little Debbie's got a um a broken leg. <laughs> no, a fractured um shin. Well no, she's got a moon boot on because she practically had a full leg replacement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you say that, yeah, but right. she has literally had a full knee replacement, that's mm. what the letter said. Mm. And her bone all the way up to under her bum yeah. and her bone down halfway, halfway down through her shin. shin. Yeah. So it's not as easy for little Her Debbie to, to come, come in the video these days because she's on the crutches with a moon boot. She's getting good at the crutches, eh? Really good, yeah. Mm. I'm sure she'll be back in soon. She's gonna love this so she'll much. She'll love these. Wow. Really good, isn't it? That I is, think that's a 12 out of 10. It might be early to say this, oh, but yeah. I think this could be treat of the week. <laughs> Don't even start thinking about that mm. yet, Kate. We've got a long that way to tip. That is literally go. one of the best orange chocolate I've ever We've tasted. We've got a long way to Tipperary. A long way to, to go. I thought I always thought it's like a long way to Rome. To Rome. I picked the oh. orange flavour so you could share it with your mum, as you mentioned before. It's her favourite. Oh, I really wish we could bring her in, but I know. soon. I was thinking, should we break it up a bit by having a bit of Mella's Irish butter fudge? Oh yes! Now you're talking to me. Doesn't that look nice with to the me. gold writing and yeah, the I love um? That. Very premium the look, isn't it? There's a B there. Oh, is that what that and is? There. I just thought it was an apostrophe. Oh, that's really sweet, isn't it? West Cork, soft days, green pastures, pure butter, Mellas fudge. At Mellas Fudge, they make good old-fashioned fudge in Clonakilty, West Cork, as in crumbly and buttery, the flavour your grandmother might remember from the good old days. It says it's got golden syrup in. Ooh. And this says, I began making fudge with my mother in our kitchen overlooking Bantry Bay. It has been in my life ever since. My recipe uses the creamiest West Cork butter. Vanilla is the original flavour, best served with a cup of tea. Turn it around, Dal. See, it doesn't say it on there, but in this photo it says great taste. So it's obviously uh, one like a great taste. At some point. Buttery biscuit base. Buttery biscuit base. I love the colour. It goes great with my top. Yeah, it really does. Barracuda. Buttery biscuit face. All right, you can have that little piece there. Thank you. And I'll have oh, this. Oh, it smells like heaven. I'll have this piece. Oh my <laughs> word. You go for that. <laughs> I'm rocking over there. How much you got left? Yeah, you've got so many different mm -hmm. variations of fudge, haven't you? This is definitely the more crumbly one, but the flavour is delicious. Yeah, really delicious. Oh yeah, that flavour is amazing. Mm. Although I wonder if you kind of sat with it in your mouth and just if it would just dissolve. Yeah, it's delicious it with a cup of tea. What are you giving that? That's a 10 out of 10, easy. It's a 10. ten. It's a 10 from me. We, we used to do our hands, Al. 10. ten. Okay, do you know There's what? probably lots of things we used to do that we I don't know. do anymore. Yeah. Do you know what? I what? think we should do like a sweet. So I'm feeling a bit. And I think these might be like the ones mm. you like. Oh no, they're gums. Ignore me. These are lemons orchid jellies. Bit orchid, isn't it? It's orchid. Soft fruit flavoured jelly sweets. Lemon sweets have been a favourite confection for successive generations of Irish people since 1842. Wow. In that year, Graham Lemon opened the Confectioner's Hall at 
49 Lower Sackville Street in the heart of Dublin City. The lemon shop became immortalised in print when featured in James Joyce's masterpiece, Ulysses. What? That's like such a famous piece of literature, Ulysses. Really? Yeah. So then because of that? Yeah, it was immortalised. So this real life... Oh, sorry, I was just trying to be like quick to open it up. <laughs> so this real life confectionery shop is in that book that's very famous and considered like a great work of writing. And because of that, they've become yeah. really popular. And it will, that piece of literature will be Round used it. Yeah. for generations to come. And that shop is features in there. And the original shop sign can still be seen today. No way. In 1984, because of financial difficulties, the factory closed and the brand name was bought. Oh, that's, well, a, that's shame. a shame. You know, I, I said, oh, they're the sweets you like. Yeah. And then I said, oh, no, not mm. they're like gums. Mm. I actually think they are like the ones Ooh. you like. These look amazing. Ooh. They've Oof. got like a sugary shell. Oh, they are. And just bite. Match don't clean go through them. These are insane. That's great. They're mm. amazing. So amazing. What are you giving those? 10 out of 10. Yeah, I think 12 out of 10. They're some of the best ones of these sort of sweets we've had. I think we've had better ones. Really? Those delicious. ones from um, Russia, weren't they? Yeah, you like I those I think ones. I preferred them more. Oh, but these, these are, are amazing. Delicious. Yeah, no, I these think I prefer delicious. these. These really? are so good, yeah. I just like the ones from Russia because they were so delicate in flavour. They were delicate, delicate. in bite as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm a delicate mm, flower. You are. This um, box here is really it's cool. It's Turkish Delight. Turkish Delight. From Ireland? Yes. Cork Island, established in 1902. How beautiful is this little box? It's really nicely presented, isn't it? And how do you Hadji say that? Hadji Bays. Now, a lot of you don't know what Turkish Delight is. Often Turkish Delight would come in something like this, really? wouldn't it? Like more posh in like- Oh, I see what you mean. Like in um, the Nana Chronicles. They were in like a nice- I've never watched the Narnia Chronicles. Is that what? what you're talking about? The or are you talking about the Nana? Narnia. Are you talking about the Nana Chronicles? No, read your bit. Or the Chronicles of Narnia. The Chronicles of Narnia. Oh, right. Tell you don't read any books. I watched the film. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> anyway, you don't generally think Ireland when you think Turkish delight. No. But Hadji Bey's Turkish delight has been a part of Ireland's food tradition since 1902. Wow. The business became a marvellous success, exporting to luxury stores like Harrods of Ooh. London and Bloomingdale's of New York, and even being supplied to Buckingham Palace. Ooh. And look, inside it says the story of Hadji Bey, and this is chapter two. Armenian delight. Isn't That's that cool. cool? So I wonder if there's a chapter one somewhere. Woohoo! Right, down below, are you a Turkish delight fan or not? Obviously, only people who've had it can tell can uh, participate. And the flavours are often rose mm. or de very delicate flavours and mm. often floral flavours. This is delicious. rose. That is delicious. Mm. Wow. That was really nice. I might try this. This is amazing. Mm. Lemon? Mm. Depending on where you get your Turkish delight, excuse me. Um, do you have a Turkish delight guy, do you? Yeah. I've got a guy. Meet him in the, in the streets. Mm. I don't know where you get it. It can be a lot softer, like the fries one covered in chocolate. Yeah. It's a lot more like soft and almost yeah. like jelly. Whereas this, if you watch, it's got more of like yeah. a... But this it is, doesn't get stuck in your teeth. Yeah. Okay. The fries stuff is good, but this is more legit, Oh, this is proper. It? More traditional. You the can just tell stuff. by the texture, can't oh, you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That lemon's lovely. Yeah. Mm. I had a chat with Barry earlier. He said the only place to get your Turkish delight is Hadji Bey's. Mm. So. This is some of the best I've tried. This Dad's is some of the be best heaven. Turkish delight in all the world. Mm -hmm. That's On amazing. sale in Harrods, Bloomingdale's of New York, and served at Buckingham Buckham. Palace. No wonder it is. It's oh. amazing. Okay, that was fabulous. fabulous. I'm giving that 10 out of 10. What's this bar in the bottom right? Oh. I'm surprised you picked that. Or just... White chocolate oh. truffle and feel the weight of that. You know, when people talk about Oof. a gold bar in film, yeah. that that's like a gold bar. Butters. Oh, we've also got a box of chocolates. So should we... Butlers. Sorry, butlers. Butlers. <laughs> butlers chocolates began life in Dublin's Lad Lane in 1932. Lads, the... lads, lads. <laughs> the company was founded by a pioneering woman called Marion Butler. Butler's opened its first retail outlet in 1989 on Dublin's premier shopping street, Grafton Street. 
This shop was the foundation for the many butler's chocolate cafes now dotted Ooh. around Dublin and the rest of Ireland. With every drink you buy in the cafe, you get a complimentary chocolate of your choice. Mm. My favourite winter treat is a butler's hot chocolate and a wander around Dublin city centre to see the Christmas lights. Mm, that sounds, sounds amazing. Sounds idyllic. It seems too good of a chocolate box, so should we just kind of have like one or two? Yeah. Oh, look at that nice soft truffly bit in the middle. There's literally oh, that. Oh, look at that. wow. You can't even break it, it just splats. It looks like luscious butter. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's amazing. It's like um, lint to the next level. Mm. You know how you get a bar and it's kind of got something yeah. in the middle? It's so smooth, isn't it? Mm. It reminds me a little bit of uh, milky bar buttons, mm. but like a, a high, so like mm. sweet. It's like high choking end. me. It's like a high-end version of Milky Buttons. Mm. Milky Bar Buttons. Oh my word. Not some of the best white chocolate ever. You're in white chocolate heaven. Mm -hmm. That is so sweet and rich. I think my limit is one piece, but I really appreciate how good that is. You can that have all of that. Is insane. That's I've your, already got so many treats of the weeks. That's your pay for the week. Thank you. For a week's work. I'll take this to my bedroom yeah. under the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah. No one knew, but yeah. I lived in a room under yeah. the stairs. This is amazing. I wonder if they have milk and dark versions of these. Oh, please don't. Because I feel like if they've got version. box of chocolates here with milk and like, yeah. why wouldn't you? Have their flavours on the back? Can you just give us a Ooh. quick run through? We've got raspberry, we've got salted almond croquant, chocolate flake truffle, Hazelnut caramel, green, green tea, tea, butter praline, coffee, 70% truffle, raspberry, spice chai, caramel, caramel crunch. crunch, mango and lemongrass, and salted caramel. They sound amazing. Right, I'm definitely up for the raspberry, the salted caramel. It's a good job we did this in a separate video because all of this chocolate is so rich. Yeah. I think we would have been sick. Oh yeah. We literally couldn't have done this whole box in one. I wonder how much these are. Mm, they look like high end, don't they? Yeah, they look very high end. Now, if I was a teacher in Ireland, I'd love a box oh, of these. Oh, yes, you would, wouldn't you? What's that say? The chocolate collection. Oh, this is just tells more. Oof. I would even call them decadent. Decadent. Would you say they're decadent? Yeah, definitely. And you only get one of each flavour, so, so pick wisely. We're not really going to be sharing with anyone. It's going to be like we? a fight, isn't it? Mm. Wow. Is that good? How's the caramel? Really nice. I like this box because there's caramel crunch and salted caramel, two caramels. Do you want it? Go on we then. can't have it. Mm. <laughs> that is Let's delicious. That is delicious. Butler's is epic. Mm -hmm. That is so nice. I might just have to have half of this. Sorry. What's that one? Chocolate flake truffle. Mm. Oh my, that's amazing. They're too good that's to so just yum. munch on now. Mm. So from what we've tried, mm. they're spectacular. Oh, spectacular. That's another word. Spectac. Oh, oh, also, and thank you to everyone of, oh. who gave me um, ideas. Oh, that's good. Have you got some written on Amaze the inside of your arm? Amazeballs. Amazeballs. Spectacular. Uh, spectacular, which is great as well, because um, in the latter part of the year, you can change it up and say, that's spectacular. Spectacular. Yeah. What else can you <coughs> say? Gnarly. Gnarly. Bodacious. Fantastic. Banging. Bang. They are amazing. If you can get your hands on some butlers. Or if you can go to a butler's location oh, yeah. for a drink and get a free chocolate. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what I'd want if I lived in Ireland. <laughs> I've just noticed while we're here, yep. mini bar is by <gasps> butlers as well. I didn't realise they're from butlers. Let's go to the mini bar. Ooh. Well, these just like the plain bars. These are plain. 20 oh, cool. chocolate mini bars. That's cool. Chocolate masters. I like it when they say that. I love the Dark writing on these. That's so cool, isn't it? These are giving me um, Harry Potter Ghirardelli vibes. vibes. Oh, they're giving me like Harry and Potter And I just vibes. mean because there's like in the, in the little pack. Yeah. I love that font and the yeah. way it looks. And the pink and the colour. Especially oh. the pink with the kind of gold with the mm. darker pink. I'm going for white chocolate really raspberry. Cool as well. These 70, look Oh, amazing. salted caramel crunch. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. That mm. colour's amazing. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, look at that. You can see like the raspberry in it. Mmm. That is so rich and lovely. Oh, wow. Big fan of that. <laughs> I hope Butler's is like my new fave. Yeah. And how amazing is it that Laura can go get like a hot drink. Yeah, from Butler's. And get a free chocolate bar and enjoy the Christmas lights. That sounds like the perfect little Christmas thing. Day. Yeah, day, day yeah. Christmas day on the day itself or in the run up. Well, it'll probably not be open. No, because you'll probably be at home and Well, they might, they might sell homemade hot chocolate that yeah, you can maybe. go do. So you can yeah. go stand outside the shop mm. on Christmas Day if you want and just take your own chocolate bar. Yeah. Should we see about this Colleen woman? Yeah, go on then. Irish assortment. 
from Oakfield, sweet since 1927. Colleen, 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 Colleen. Oakfield are one of the oldest and still independent sweet manufacturers left in Ireland today. They make a quality product that has stood the test of time. Orange chocolate, I'm going for that. Mm. Oh my word, mm. it's like an orange sweet with chocolate in the middle. What flavour was that? It's like minty. Irish butter toffee, I'll go for that. Ooh. Oh, that looks nice. Oh yeah, watch my teeth. <laughs> Is that hard? Yeah, but if you put it under your armpit. Mm. Mm. That's nice. Mine was like a mint toffee. I can't speak for the rest, but that Irish but butter toffee was really yeah. delicious. What are you giving those? I'll give them eight out of ten. Yeah, I thought that was really nice. Really nice. But after having the butlers, yeah. nothing kind of compares no. to that. Should we go a bit different and try the jelly bean yeah. factory? Are they both from the jelly bean factory? Aren't yeah. They? The Jelly Bean Factory. So these look exactly like Jelly Belly. So the Jelly Bean Factory is the creation of a father and son team. They have an incredible 36 flavors available. These are my favorite jelly beans, so juicy and mouth watering. We've got super sours and just the 36. Yeah. Of apple, these. cranberry and apple, lemon and lime, mango, Passion raspberry, fruit. strawberry, something or other, pink pomegranate, grapefruit. tangerine, watermelon, and you get less flavors in here. Sour pink grapefruit, sour grape, sour cola, Oops. orange, lemon, sour apple, cranberry and apple. Do you want pink grapefruit out? Yeah. I might go orange. Real nice. Sour raspberry. I wouldn't say they were super sour. No. But they're really nice they sour. They are sour, yeah. Mm. We've just got a bit of a zing to them. Mm. Ooh, these are delicious. They're good, aren't they? Um, sour or Which flavor these? did you get in those? I had peach and it was amazing. I think I would say these ordinary ones. Yeah, the ordinary head. ones. That could be a peach. Mm. Or tangerine. That's nice. Mm. They are very close to the branding of Jelly Belly. Yeah, maybe that's what they were trying to mm. do. Mm. I think they're just as good, if not, maybe better. Yeah, very good. Mm. We've got Richie's Milky Mints, the Biggie. Moo. These look quite traditional or classic, don't they? Yes. The biggie. I like oh. the sound of milky mints. Milky mints. Richie's mints have been producing the famous Richie's mints in Dublin for over 70 years. A firm favourite in Ireland, that distinctive taste will take you back to your childhood. Affectionately known as milky moos among many, a chewy mint with a buttery taste. Oh, I don't think I've ever had a mint yeah. with a buttery taste. Oh. It does have a buttery taste. Mm. That is interesting. Mm. It really is that thing. It's like a buttery caramel or something. It's like one of those butter mints. But, is that uh, what it's called? Mm. Murray mints. Mm. I've got a chewy shell. Mm. And then you meet a crunchy middle. Anything in the middle middle? Teeth. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's good though, isn't it? Mm. It's not like really, really powerful mint. Mm. So that's quite nice and refreshing, isn't it? Mm. I think I need a... Quick stretch. Mid uh, video stretch. Oh, short as well. I find myself Back often. I find myself often um, slumping in these. Yeah, hunched over. They're really good. Mm. I like that because I don't always like really minty mints. So they'd be nice for a car journey just to kind of suck on, chew. Yeah. Like, yeah, because I tend to prefer mi my minty things like to really cut through and be like refreshing. That's like an interesting taste, like a kind of creamy mint. I have a friend Haley who if she if when even growing up like mm. if you'd go to a shop to pick a sweet she mm. would pick mints. Really? That's like never um, do that. Carter. Yeah, Carter does that. Whereas I feel like I can understand you picking mince. that as a mince. <laughs> as a sweet. Mints. Mints. Right, let's go on to these. Yeah. Oh my word, original iced caramels with an iced sugar coating. Now these are either going to be really sweet or really odd. What do they call their money in Ireland? Euros. They use euros. In some places, I believe. Euros yeah. that you use in in Europe. Ireland's in Europe. No, I know, but we were in Europe. No, but we chose not to take the euro. I don't know if all of Ireland do, or some parts of your island do. These are so interesting. These are ice caramels. Ice caramels originated in 1926 in the old Clarinco sweet factory in Dublin, when one of the employees had an idea of dipping toffees in icings. Today, Cleves are making iced caramels to the same original recipe and method as has been enjoyed by consumers for over 90 no years. Way. But they were actually established in 1882, Limerick Island. Now, I think this is either genius or unnecessary. <laughs> is it a hard icing? Yeah, look how much sugar's on the outside of that. It's like what you would ice a wedding cake with. 
I know not every country does it like that, but a, a traditional English wedding cake would be iced in like a royal icing that's like soft. Yeah. And you spread it on and then it kind of firms up with a hard crunch. Me likey. <laughs> Did you know, as well as being a place, limerick is also the type of a poem, a type of poem. Limerick. I'm gonna see if I can find one. The only one I can think of is Rue. Rue. Yeah. There was an old man with a beard who said, it's just as I feared. Two owls and a hen, four larks and a wren, have all built their nests in my beard. And of course, there is the fame tale of a man from Nantucket. There once was a man from Nantucket who kept all his cash in a bucket, but his daughter named Nan ran away with a man and as for the bucket, Nantucket. Moral of the story, don't keep your cash in a bucket. No, do not. I didn't know that. Mm. Well done, Alex. Thank All you. about the English today with you. Yeah. Very good. good. Right, what are you giving those? I'm going to give them a six. Really? Yeah, I don't like the added icing. I kind of would just prefer the caramel. that. Well, the icing doesn't really taste of anything apart from sugar. I kind of just... That and kind I of think is it over icing. Yeah, but I kind of think it overpowers the flavour of the caramel. I see what you mean. But they were like nice soft caramels, weren't they? I'm torn between seven and eight. Okay. I thought that was really good. I like that. Catch! Ugh. Oh, missed. You catch. Oh, missed. Bob. <laughs> Catch Bar was first produced in 1976 at the HB Chocolates Factory in Tallahort, County Dublin, Ireland. Each, ooh, each bar can, hold on. That smells like um, advent calendar, does it? Oh, it does. Each bar contains soft caramel and crispy rice pieces enrobed in a layer of milk chocolate. We and love milk that chocolate. Word, don't we? Mm, that's nice. Got it all over the table. I swear we've had a catch from somewhere else. Yeah, maybe. That's got foreign writing on it. Made in the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. We might have had that in our um, South Africa box. That is really good. Soft caramel and crispy rice in milk chocolate. Once again, though, it's that caramel from that peanut bar. that I, I, I want caramel to be caramel, not like a paste thing. Yeah. No, I really like this. I love the texture from the rice krispies around the outside and there's like a tube of caramel in the middle. Mmm. Mmm. 10 out of 10. Really? Yeah. I'm just going to give that um, a 7. Really? Yeah. I love that. I think I think it's the chocolate. I think we've been spoiled today. I kind of like the chocolate. Really? Like you said, it has that kind of smell of advent calendar chocolate. I like that. Yeah. We've got three things left. I have not seen a pack of these Tic Tacs for so long. Really? And don't get me wrong, they're in the shops, but I mean, we used to get these all the time. What, and the now green we and just don't ones. get them. Yeah. Yeah. Lime and orange. And I was like, how funny, we have those and everything. But reading here, 45% of the world's Tic Tacs are manufactured in the Ferrero factory in Cork Island. No way. The Cork based factory was established in 1975 initially as a packing facility and has been producing Tic Tacs since 1995. The factory produces approximately 62 million Tic Tacs every day and upwards of 20 billion Tic Tacs annually. What percentage of the world's Tic Tacs did you Forty-five uh, yeah. percent. These used to be like the only flavour there was. Yeah. Do you remember? Oh, and mint. But I'd only ever orange, want to eat the orange ones. Mm. Don't like the lime. It's a shame Holly didn't like the lime ones. I know. That could have been it's a great really having good a buddy pairing, yeah. who, yeah. They're, they're so classic. They mm. really remind me of my childhood. And that's so cool to hear about where, mm. you know, they're made. And... I never would have known that. You were owned by Ferrero. How funny is that? I know. You would never expect that, would you? No, not from the Rocher. No, the La Rocher Prosan. Mm. The face thing. Two things left. Yeah. I'm really feeling it now. Yeah, me too. I'm we can joined. do this. We can do this. Join. We, we can, can do this. this. We, we can, can do this. this. The final two. Would you like to go Lily O'Brien or Bean and Goose? Let's try Bean and Goose. That's something yes. I've never heard of. This feels really chunky. This is like when you get a card from someone, it's like, oh, got a lot of money in there. <laughs> <laughs> now we know your thought process. No, but I just mean, or shall I say, it's like when you're younger, you'd be like, oh, my card's got a badge on it. Yeah. Nutshed. Nutshed. Peanut butter swirls with peanuts and Shashan Pepper Prawley. Oh, that sounds fancy. This says, Sisters Karen and Natalie Keane of Bean and Goose Chocolate make their beautiful handmade chocolates in the kitchen of their family farm in the Wexford countryside. Their method of making small batch of single origin bars and truffles on marble slabs ensures that every one of their creations is up to the highest standards of quality, while their unusual but delicious flavour combinations celebrate the Irish seasons and really set them apart from their competitors. This is amazing. Like, look at that at the yeah. back. 
back. Really it nice really feels thick. Wow. Well, it makes it feel like a special experience. This is like um, in the film, The Wonka Bar, like finding the golden yeah. ticket. Oh, wow. I do love these wow. bars where you get loads of topping. The paper's kind of stuck to the caramel a bit. Wowee. That looks good. That looks epic. Oh, I like the on pattern On the other there. side, That's look cool. at that. That's really nice. Right, Alex. Thank you. I don't say what percentage it is. 62%. It tastes... Oh, um, you can taste the pepper. It tastes darker than mm. 62%, wouldn't you say? Yeah, but I think that's kind of the bitterness from the uh, pepper. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it's a, it's a very dark, bitter chocolate. And then is that okay. like peanut butter swell, did you say? It it's, looks like peanut like, butter oh, swell. Oh yeah, peanut butter swells with peanut and Shishwan. Shishwan, I don't Shishwan know. Shishwan pepper praline. Oh, so that is like yeah. the praline. That's amazing, um, isn't it? It's quite dark for me. Yeah, that's rich. But do you like that? Yeah, rich and luxurious. What are you giving that? I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10. If you it's are really a dark good. chocolate fan, mm. you will absolutely love that. And really rich fan. and delicious, yeah, peanut yeah. as well. It'll be interesting to see what other flavors they do. Mm. Okay, and last but not, not least, least, drum roll. For Lily O'Brien. Okay, and we've got the sticky toffee, sweet smooth caramel smothered in milk and dark chocolate, a Lily O'Brien's classic. Oh, passionate about chocolate. So yeah. are we, Lily, so yeah. are we. Eat, breathe, sleep chocolate. Yes, that's what we like to hear. Dun, 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 dun. This is definitely the kind of thing you get in TK Maxx over here, yeah. isn't it? We do get some Lily O'Brien's. Oh, that looks nice. Ooh, so it's got like a dark What's it called? top. It's sticky toffee. Sticky toffee. Very thick casing. Mm. Like the Trader Joe's ones we had recently. Mm. Not the Trader Joe's salted caramel. Mm. 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 We've nice. had a few Lily O'Briens in our time. Mm. I bought like months and boxes of chocolates because remember her saying she likes them. That's nice. What do you think to that? That's really good, isn't it? Mm. Is it meant to taste like sticky toffee pudding or it's just like sticky toffee? I think they just kind of, rather than just saying yeah. like caramel or toffee. That's really good. It is. A caramel, isn't it, basically? Mm. Lovely chocolate, really nice caramel on the inside. I feel like I can also taste a bit of a different flavour in there, mm. but I'm not too sure. But um, that's really delicious. And rather than getting like a whole box of chocolates, if you know you like the sticky toffee yeah. ones, just getting a box of those are really nice. Yeah. They'd be good to hang out, uh, hand out for teachers. Why yeah. do I keep going back to teachers? You love teachers. I do. You, you're all on board with the teacher appreciation. Well, I think after the year everyone's had, yeah. I think a lot more people appreciate teachers really? now after homeschooling their kids for a year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, parents will just be buying teachers chocolate. Oh my galore. word, parents better be buying their, the teachers. I feel like a lot more will give or a gift. This. should the teachers be buying the parents the chocolate for putting up with their own kids? <laughs> That's their job. Yeah. Oh dear, we did it. Mm. I think that deserves a... Oh. Sometimes you just need a bit of a pat on yeah. the As long as you don't burp at the end. You feel yeah. really good after a pat, actually. That Give yourself a pat now, it's really nice. Not the comforting. same when you do it for yourself. No, it's comforting. I think there's something good about the vibrations that kind yeah. of like ruminate well, through your chest. Well, I suppose it stops like babies from crying and that. I just burped. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just help me burp. Okay. Oh my word, I think that was one of the richest, most decadent boxes we've ever had. Because the box was so big, mm. it was also so big of sweets and chocolates, mm. whereas often if they're that big, they've got crisps and yeah. snacks. So that was very decadent. Mm. And I think that's time for a five, six, seven, eight. Da, da. Ooh, hello. Yeah, maybe we could do some levels. I'll go forward yeah. this time, right. get your head Ready? in this way. Five, six, seven, eight. Da, da, da. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> okay, really can you remember what your treat of the week is? Yeah, I had something um, all planned out. I can't remember what it was now. I think my favourite actually was this Skellig's orange chocolate brittle. That is fantastic, this stuff. I think my treat of the week is this too, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna have two. This oh. Butler's white chocolate yeah. truffle. This was fantastic. Fan dabby dozy. Oh, Laura. Laura. What an epic box. If you don't, you need to, you need to be like, 
this person who creates the finest hampers for like yeah. gifts for friends and families because yeah. they are amazing. Yeah. Oh, that was absolutely incredible. The finest Irish hampers. I feel like we've really been on a journey around mm. Ireland because you didn't just include one area. Yeah. You included the whole of Ireland. Yeah, and uh, the broadest range of products mm -hmm. from tea, crisps, to biscuits, to chocolates and sweets, it's amazing. Yeah, thank you so much for that wonderful box. Oh, we can't wait to come to Ireland. Yeah, it's um, somewhere we definitely need to go now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. We did send Laura back some goodies to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try some British candy, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and that's the best way for you guys to support this channel. If you enjoy watching our videos, then check out our website. We've got a whole selection of British treats. But we hope you guys enjoyed coming on that journey with us. If mm. you enjoyed that, definitely subscribe to our channel so you mm. don't miss out on more. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.